What is this? They change this? This is order. Stabilize. Everyone hold hands. Shine down. Make yourselves at home. Come on, Paimon, this is normal for us. After all that, we finally made it to the innermost sanctum. Though, as expected, the mastermind isn't here. That's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the Opera House and help Navia! I don't know what's wrong with this game. After 4.0, it's just like, it's okay for me, but then it's hell loose. No, I'm seeing domain, so I not can, I cannot change it. Oh, boy. Let's see what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes! Hmm... Callus... Navia's father... Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him! the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. I just cannot understand why this game is like this. Like, when I open the menu, it's working fine, smooth. And now I cannot change it. I really have to rethink this system. That means this is where they make all the synth! 
And that special water is the main ingredient! If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth! But the pure stuff can dissolve a human! Paimon will take notes on this incriminating evidence! What's all this? Ah, it's a bunch of really cute things! Pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box! Oh, Paimon sees it too, but... Why are all these cute things labeled with different girls' names? Huh? You mean the girls from the serial disappearances? They were brought here? More like the Milan, like the things. They were turned into water. And all the boxes of things. These names. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for research. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the Primordial Sea and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the Primordial Sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved! Man, I feel so sorry for this quality. But again, I have no idea how to solve it or what's the cause. This guy you was or what the what she's name? Who is the culprit? So that's why you did all of these experiments. Wait, did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! Again, these answers are the same thing, just cut into. Huh? Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. Ah, <sighs> you mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Ugh. Experiments? So 
So that's it. Vashe was no victim, but personally took his lover and... No, that's not it either. If that's the case, why would he want people to resurface from the water? And now you... Here's the proof. My game just sat so much, but then... It's normal, like nothing happens, like I literally have to let this game sit for 5 minutes and then it's gonna be fine. This is, actually this is something similar that happened when I play Spider-Man, but here's the thing. Spider-Man works fine until the later half of the game. I really don't know what to do, like, I have a decent setup. I don't have any high setups, neither the obvious or... I mean, OBS has its own settings. What did the world just happen? I should really take a concern this with someone, maybe in a Reddit, if it is still Reddit. In any case, Paimon will write it all down. And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. Hmm. Mixing in progress. Ready to drink. Stock sample? Huh. They've also got all the synth pretty clearly labeled. Whoa! There's even fruit flavored synth? Yep. It's super obvious. We've looked at almost everything here, and it seems like our theories were spot on, but... How much you bet this voice is just got only under another disguise to say? Yeah, we haven't found anything that reveals his true identity. No wonder even Nervalette wasn't able to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. We'll find something for sure! Ugh. Nothing at all! And Paimon can't even find snacks either! Hey, hey Paimon. What do you find? Oh, really? Let Paimon see! Vinier. Isn't that Vashe's lover's name? Then... you found her diary! Let's see! Aww... It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet, too. Oh, Paimon feels even worse for her now. Uh, this choice, like... These are becoming comical, like... Come on. So many! A whole page is worth! But they're all crossed out. Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was... Marcel. Wait, but... Marcel's pretty old. <gasps> Has this case been going on for so long that he's Fache and Veneer's grown son? Paimon still 
hasn't figured it out yet? And we're back to the car. At least in this scene, it's gonna be okay. Good thing I set up for the HKV format. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> His father. Oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. By the way, if he was born here, in Fontaine, then the whole thing with Cisnaya was a lie? Uh, as expected of my partner, I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, Wait, I why is it just getting blue? the crucial evidence. But the truth of it, Marcel, he speak? is that you've always been Vache. Huh? We've investigated your lair and we already know everything. After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you. You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. Oh my god. I think I have myself proof to show this. Man, I hope they are gonna pass this. Ooh, this really doesn't look good. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? <sighs> you fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. For our determination to see things through. Your determination? <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think... Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Pay attention to you? <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice, your beloved drama, while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vignier is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Wait, he tried to dissolve me, sir? Is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. <laughs> Why don't you, do you just die? See? 
I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> the suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me! I still need to save Vinye. A promise. We made a promise. Vinye. Vinye. Please, Vinye. Don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Traveler, please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche, and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the primordial sea, and was dissolved in front of Vache as a result. Vache learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others, and began to kidnap young women for research, with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel, and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria, and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Vache decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Vache expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Vache attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Vache's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. The Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varché is guilty. Guards! Take Varché away. Good. It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! We helped Navia bring the bad guy to justice! He's hurt so many innocent people and now he's finally getting what he deserves! Huh? Are you okay? <sighs> Demoiselle, you are absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula's still doing well with me at the helm. 
Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Oh no, what are you planning? Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to, so if you'll excuse me... Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Ugh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. But wait, who would choose him in the first place? Don't tell me this is Alecino's plan. Like all this was Alecino's plan in the first place. To keep us busy with this cold case, only to help to do something. We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Hmm. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is... Guilty. What? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. <laughs> You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Somehow this character will become my favorite. 